Hello and welcome to the Toolkit for Traders YouTube channel where we give you the tools for trading success. And in this video we're carrying on our um, MQL4 programming series with a tutorial, an advanced tutorial um, on custom indicators. So it's going to look a bit different from the basic beginner course because by this stage I'm expecting you to have done that course and understand the basics. So I'm going to go straight into the meta terminal today and show you how you can integrate custom indicators into your expert advisors. So we're here with the super cool Gradient EA, which was the uh, from the last video of the beginner series um, where we made three different expert advisors using what we learned from the basics of MQL4. Um, we're going to now um, use this as a framework, so we're not going to recreate everything for our new um, expert advisor. And we're going to um, save this as, I'm going to save it as custom indicator EA. Um, and I made a version earlier when I recorded this without had some problems with sound, so I'm re-recording, redeveloping this EA um, and doing it again. But we're back in, so I've, I've renamed the file custom indicator EA, same as before, but um, I don't want to overwrite um, that EA. Um, so you can see here, this simple EA was using um, a moving average to go up or down um, with price, um, when the gradient changed, you got a U shape or an N shape in the uh, uh, moving average. It would go long or go short. So we're going to use that. But we, you know, if you've seen my other video, um, I hope you have on uh, which moving averages are the best. And um, you'll see that the simple uh, averages which you can get um, with uh, the Metacroats software are just the simple, the smooth, the exponential and the linear weighted and they may not be as good um, in certain circumstances as some of the more advanced moving averages. In fact, you might want to use one of the free moving averages that you can get on my website, Toolkit for Traders, um, download there, uh, absolutely free. You might want to integrate that into one of your expert advisors but not sure how. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's actually very, very simple um, and we'll go through it now. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go straight down to where we um, are using uh, an indicator on our um, in our expert advisor, and you can see here we're using the IMA function. So if you press F1, um, it will bring up the IMA reference. Then I'll just move that across, so you can see that it's pretty standard um, with that. But that's for IMA. But we want to use a different indicator. In fact, we want to use a custom one. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to comment these out. I'll leave them in so we can see what we were doing, so we can copy it with what we're doing. But we're going to now um, declare a double because most indicators will return a double. Um, we're going to uh, use the same names because that means we don't have to rename them further down in the code. But instead of the IMA, we're going to use I custom, and that comes up with a tooltip. You press return, it'll do that. And if you press the open bracket, it shows you that it wants a symbol, much the same time frame exactly the same and then a constant string name so this is the actual name of the file of the indicator that we're going to use so we're going to uh, put in our symbol because that's the same as before that hasn't changed with the underscore symbol we're going to use the underscore period to specify the current time frame and then we want to use the constant string name so um, to help us with this we can um, highlight the i custom press f1 and it brings up the help sheet for I custom and you can see here the string name is the path name of the custom indicators compiled program more details down here um, it's the custom indicator compiled program name relative to root to the root indicators directory mql4 indicators so what that means is um, it already finds its way to the to your indicators folder um, so you don't have to do that you just need to specify after there particularly if you've got a subdirectory like I do to tidy up your indicators um, its name must be specified as examples backslash backslash. Now that's important because if you see um, directories are usually used forward slash forward slashes as separators, and we're using a double backslash in the string. Um, so that's an important distinction you need to make. Wherever you've got these forward slashes, you need to have the back one. And you can see here at the end, there's no ex4 or mq4. You only need the ex4 to use it, um, but you don't need to specify. It knows what it's looking for. So. We go to, to find your file, make sure you get it right. Go to File, Open Data Folder. And we go to MQL4 and Indicators, as it said there. And 
any of these ones here, you can just put their name as is. So just accelerator or alligator would work. But obviously I've got mine in a subdirectory for T4T. And we're gonna use the low pass filter here. And what I'm gonna to do to make this easy myself, no spelling mistakes, I'm just gonna copy that name without the file extension um, there. And I'm gonna put this, in fact, I'm gonna put this into a string and we call it indicator name and we're going to give it the name low pass so you've got to remember for a string you've got to put it in side speech marks but because this is in a subdirectory t4t we're also going to put t4t there as well with a double backslash um, so that we've got that there so we can close that um, and you see we can now use this indicator name there we go and now you can see it's got this dot 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 and you can see the dot 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 also in the help file um, so we need to put in the custom indicator parameters so these are the inputs for that custom indicator um, you need to put them as it says here the pass parameters and their order must correspond with the declaration order and the type of external variables in the custom indicator so if you've got the mq4 file you this is really easy because you can go into that mq4 file for the indicator and look at the order um, of the inputs and also the types here and make sure they're all done correctly if you don't have that it's a little bit more difficult especially for uh, indicators which have loads and loads of input variables um, like some of them do you see on forums and things very very complicated extremely difficult if you don't have an mq4 file so i would only use um, an ex4 file for relatively simple indicators like the low pass filter so if we go over to the trading terminal and if you go to uh, your indicator, which I've got the low pass filter or, or, or you can see it's only got three inputs and they're all, you can see by this symbol here, uh, they are all integers, ints. Um, so that's that symbol there gives you a clue. Doubles will all be, I think they're pink with a, a number and a dot. You see string because it'll be text and booleans have um, uh, a different symbol as well should be relatively straightforward to see when you're there so that gives you the type the order is um, you can see um, just go from top to bottom and you can see the default values here so we can use that in our um, in the writing of this expert advisor so we're gonna go down we're gonna go here so we need to put in so the first one we had on there if I just get that up again actually so if I have that at the same time and now if we go here, that works. So the first one we've got is this filter period, which is an integer now. For this indicator, we already have an integer for period. Now I'm gonna change the default to 50 because I like that for the low pass filter. Um, and I'm just gonna use that. I'm not gonna change it. Um, it works for me. Um, so my life stays simple. So we'll go to MA period um, for the filter period. Uh, we've got a single color here. Um, you see this is an integer, although it's written as a text, um, it's going to be zero or one um, because it's a new an enumerated list. Uh, so I'm going to use zero for single color. It doesn't matter. That's just a visual thing. And then you've got the opportunity to use price. And we've also got um, a price variable here, price type, MA price. So we can put that back in there as well and recycle that input variable from our last EA nice and simply. So we've got our three variables in now, but they were not just finished there we've also got to give a mode which is um it, we've got a reference which buffer which line of data from that indicator you want to use um i would check out my um, video on indicators if you're not sure on this but there's a maximum of eight it's usually in the first one which is zero um, if you've got two lines like a two line cross like a macd or a stochastic um, again that will be zero or one for those two a single one like a low pass filter moving average is it's all in the zero that's where all the data is stored that is used to plot the indicator so we're going to specify that we want zero and then last of all because this is the current price which is the last bar that closed we're going back one bar um, and you can see from the how we did this last time um, we're going to then replicate this for the rest of our EA so we'll do that and you can see here we had was and was was so I'm going to change that to was and I'm gonna change that one to was was 
and we will also need to go back two bars and back three bars. So now we've sort of replicated that area up there, we can get rid of it. And we can compile that, check for any errors. Ooh, so we have an error here, some operator expected. What have I got? Hmm, let's have a look. Ah, uh, Mr. Semicolon, there we go. And all the errors go away. Hey, we like that. So we've now successfully put in a custom indicator into our expert advisor. Um, you can, um, one thing you can do is you can take this variable out here. Um, we can then put it um, right at the top. Um, and we can then put input in front and put it as an input instead of our expert advisor. And what this means is if somebody, you sell this or pass this on to somebody else, they may not have the same subdirectory as you. So they can change that text file um, to suit their own subdirectory, um, especially if you're not giving them the MQ4 file and just the EX4. And we'll compile that, make sure that works. And see, that's good. So the last thing we need to do is check that it works. So we go to our trading terminal. Um, we'll go to view, we'll get our strategy tester up. We've got our custom indicator here. Um, I'm not really looking for optimized time frames or symbols or anything, it doesn't really matter. I've got it in visual mode. I'm just gonna click start. And what I wanna see is, does it work as we expect? Um, you can see it's taking some trades, which is a, always a good thing to see with an expert advisor. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's frozen. The computer has frozen. That's annoying. Ah, there we go. So you can see when the expert advisor finishes it, it will put up um, testing, it will put up the indicators um, it used. You can see here, what you really wanna know is, did it take trades? It's not really about whether it's profitable and it probably wasn't, it definitely wasn't. Um, but we haven't optimized anything for this symbol for this time frame um, so that's to be expected but the key thing is when you have that changing gradient does it take a sell trade it does um, when you take your upside gradient does it take a buy trade it does and you can see here the reason why this is not profitable on here is it's going up and down up and down with this sort of wavy line but you've got your stop losses getting you in and out of trades um, so overall, this isn't a profitable setup, but it does work. And um, you can see that it is working as we expect. So, you know, um, you can be happy with that. That's what you want to see in the next stage. You can then move on to optimizing and uh, properly testing out this expert advisor. So that's all we've got time for in this um, tutorial uh, episode. Uh, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, just uh, find me a question or ask uh, on the comment section below, or you can ask a question on the for Toolkit for Traders forum. You can also download this indicator absolutely free with the source code on the Toolkit for Traders uh, uh, website, which the link will be down below, and it's absolutely free. Um, and as a, always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell and make sure you get a heads up when the next videos come out. And other than that, stay safe and keep well. Mm -hmm.